Hey, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to run Bootstrap in Visual Studio Code. Now, we are going to install Bootstrap globally and use its powerful tools to create quick and easy to use code snippets, which will speed up your coding, obviously. So why should you use Bootstrap's Visual Studio Code extension? Well, mainly because it includes powerful templates, powerful utility snippets, and much more like Bootstrap extension features. Now, these extension features are templates on just tab away, powerful utilities and, and on-demand components. Bootstrap also includes Font Awesome, but we are mainly going to concentrate this tutorial on Bootstrap only. Okay, so how can we get our Bootstrap extension? Well, first things first, we need Visual Studio Code for this. So if you don't have Visual Studio Code installed, then please check out the video tutorial on my channel for getting started with Visual Studio Code. Now, if you do have it installed, now we can go to the extensions tab, click on it, and up here you will see a search bar. Now in the search bar, you just need to type in Bootstrap. Now you should see multiple Bootstrap extension appear. So please choose the most recent one. For me, that will be Bootstrap 5. Now you could either choose Bootstrap 5 Quick Code Snippets or Bootstrap 5 with Font Awesome. Now I do believe that this is the most recent version, so I'm going to go with this one. Now let's click on install. Now we should have Bootstrap installed globally. So what does it mean? Let us close this up, go back to file. Let's just create a file. Let's try and save it as a HTML file. I'm just going to save it here, index.html. Now usually you would start up with a HTML file boilerplate, right? And above your title in the head, you would include your CDM for Bootstrap, the CSS and also the JavaScript one. But now that we have Bootstrap installed, we can do something else. We can hold down Shift 1, this gives us an exclamation mark, then B, then 5, and then Test Script. Now this will give us all three scripts, which is the CSS CDN and the two JavaScript CDNs for Bootstrap. Let me delete this and let me show you something else. If you want the entire boilerplate, then you can hold down Shift 1, exclamation mark, then B, five dash dollar sign, and this will give you an entire template or ML file, which also includes the free CDNs. I'm going to open this up using live server, so right click, open it with live server. You should now see a page created with your very first bootstrap extension. Okay, let me resize this. Let's go back to our code and above our title, let's create a navigation. Now the main bootstrap command is B5. This is the main snippet which then you can extend to many components like dash nav. And from here we can choose nav bar default. And this will automatically give you a nav bar. Now this navigation is already responsive. So if I go down to a phone size and the drop down menu will appear. Now just by using regular bootstrap classes, we could already change this to let's say BG danger. And this will give me a red background. Now let's extend this furthermore. You go underneath our navigation, you just close it up and underneath our title. Now let's create a dot container class and also a dot MX, which is margin on the axis of auto. Within here, let's create another class of dot row, then dot row dash calls dash free. And within this one, we're going to create a card class. Now this will be a B5 dash card, hit enter, and now let's also add the class to the card class, the class of call, which will make this a column class. Now you could just take this and copy it five more times to have six of them. So one, two, three, four, five, hit enter. And now we should have six cards. Now if I would make this larger, you would see all of the columns appear. Okay, next up, let's use Bootstrap templates in Visual Studio Code. I'm just going to take everything that is here, delete it, and Let's say I wish to create a basic template for a blog. So let me hit save, then everything here will disappear. And now I could just go with exclamation mark template. And now I could choose a blog template, for example. Let's open this one up. Bootstrap just created a complete template for a blog with, with all of the necessary features for you to create your very first blog page. Of course, completely responsive. You just need to add a bit of text and images in here and, and you would have a good to go blog page. Now let's go back and let's say I want to create a template album. This will give me an album template. Again, I could also create a carousel template. 
so far and so on. Go back again, type template in, and, and as you can see, we will have the possibility to create a blog, a album, a product template, carousel, masonry, dashboard, and off canvas template. Now, please try them out for yourself. Get back to me in the comment section on how do you enjoy the Bootstrap extension. So if you wish to learn more about Bootstrap and Font Awesome, then please feel free to check out my videos and tutorials on my YouTube channel and also my blog for the source code. With this being said, always, I'm Norbert. Thank you so much for watching and catch you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.